Hello, second grade cougars. It's Mrs. Bellatash again. And I want to do just a quick little review from last time. We talked about sorting rocks based on their properties, their colors, things like that. And then we discovered that we could also sort rocks by their size. And scientists always have a name for everything. And we discovered that there were names associated with different sizes of rocks. And we discovered that we could sort these rocks using different screens. The screens have different sized holes and we can sort the rocks based on their size using these screens. If I have a mixture of pebbles and gravel and I use the large uh, screen, I can pour the material through and the pebbles stay on top and the gravel goes through. If I have a mixture of gravel and sand, I can use the medium screen and I can separate the sand from the gravel. The gravel stays on top and the sand went through. But when I get to the sand, it appears to me that there's actually something smaller than the sand. But my screen is too, too big to separate. So I'm gonna try. I have the smallest screen and I'm going to pour the sand through that screen. So all of the sand went through, but you can see that there's some dust that is out and about, and it seems to be smaller than the sand. I wonder if there's something I can use to separate that smaller material from the sand. Boys and girls, I'm sorry, I did not have enough vials to give everybody a vial. So you're just gonna have to observe this next experiment. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my sand and whatever else kind of dust is in the sand and I'm going to pour it into the vial. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna put about half of a vial for, full of sand. And I'm gonna do it two times because scientists always do things more than one time. And so I'm going to pour some more sand in this vial. It's about halfway. And now, I want to observe it. So I just see a mixture of everything, right? It looks like just sand and maybe some dust. Now I'm going to add water to these vials. Boys and girls, did you notice that I could pour the sand? Because even though it's a solid, it's a bunch of little solids and they act like a liquid sometimes. But they keep their own shape, right? They don't completely take the shape of the container. I am always like to make connections. So now I'm going to add some water to the vials. This is the liquid water and it will pour. And I want you to watch what happens when I pour it in. Ooh, there was some dust that came out from the top. Oh, do you see some bubbles? There are some bubbles. There's like a little air pocket that got stuck there. Ooh, the water was clean when I put it in, but now it looks pretty muddy, dirty. All right, I'm gonna do the second vial. Let's see if we can see what happens when I add the water. So the water slowly sinks in to all, and again, the water started out clean and clear, and now it's cloudy and maybe a little opaque. So I just put the lids on these two vials that have sand and I think some other material because it seemed to be something smaller than sand. I'm gonna, I put the, the water in, I put the vial on, and now I'm gonna shake it. 
Okay, now let's take a look at it. Wow. Well, it kind of looks like chocolate milk, doesn't it? There's uh, sand at the bottom, and there seems to be something else in the water that has made it opaque so we cannot see through it. And there seems to be something floating at the very top. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set these vials aside and I'm gonna let them sit overnight and we're gonna come back tomorrow and see what happened to them. It has been about an hour and I can see that there's starting to be some layers. I see sand down there and then there seems to be something here and the water is still cloudy and there seems to be something floating on top. Okay, we will continue waiting. It has been two hours now and the water is getting clearer and you can really start seeing that something has settled out of the water. You can see that the sand is really grainy at the bottom, right? And then on top of that is something smaller than sand. And that thing that is smaller than sand is silt. Silt is smaller than sand and it's a little less gritty. It's not quite as rough as sand. And the silt takes a long time to settle out of the water. The sand fell pretty quickly but the silt was suspended. It was floating in the water and then slowly settled down. I have some rocks that are bigger than pebbles. So this rock is about the size of a grapefruit. And this rock is called a cobble. A cobble is about the size of a grapefruit. So when I see this, it's a cobble. When I see this, I know it's a pebble. So pebbles can be big, they can be small, but as soon as it, gets, as it gets to be about the size of a grapefruit, it stops being a pebble and it starts being a cobble. There is a rock that is bigger than a cobble and it is a boulder. I have oh, a boulder right here. Boulders are heavy. Boulders are rocks that are bigger than a basketball. So a cobble is from about a grapefruit up to a basketball. If it's bigger than a basketball, it's uh, a boulder. Now boulders can be enormous. A boulder can be the size of a basketball all the way up to the size of a mountain. So earlier I said scientists like to name things and they have named the size of every earth material. And the names of those earth materials are boulder, it's the largest, cobble, the next down, pebble, gravel, sand, silt, and the smallest material that we're gonna learn about next week is clay. Boulder, cobble, pebble, gravel, sand, silt, and clay. And those materials get smaller and smaller. And they get smaller because of weathering. Weathering is when rocks break into pieces and get smaller and smaller. Can you please get your science notebook? And I want you to glue two pages into your notebook. The first one I want you to glue in, is says sand and water drawing. And then the next one I want you to glue in is the story of sand. So, okay, so on the sand and water drawing, it says, is there an earth material smaller than sand? And we saw a lot of dust and we discovered that there was something else in the water other than sand and it is silt. Silt is smaller than sand. And here is a close up of the, of the vial so you can draw it.
So this is what I wrote. I said, yes, it had silt. And then I drew a picture and I labeled the vial, sand, silt, water. And I noticed that there was something floating at the top and it looked like little tiny leaves and sticks. And I would say that is organic matter. Then the sentence at the bottom says, this vial has water and sand, silt, and organic matter. Now turn to the next page and it says the story of sand. And it says, put these rock names in order by size from the largest to the smallest. And they have sand, cobble, gravel, boulder, and pebble. Can you please put them in order by size for me? So I said the order was boulder, cobble, pebble, gravel, and sand. And then it says, tell the story of sand in your own words. And I wrote, a boulder can roll down a mountain and break. The smaller pieces are cobbles. Cobbles can break into pebbles. Pebbles break into gravel, and gravel can break into sand. Okay, next week we're gonna turn our attention to clay, the smallest earth material. See you next week, guys.